Panama City commissioners have taken the first step to allowing a new speed detection system around school zones. Last year, Police Chief Mark Smith invited representatives from Red Speed to determine the extent of speeding in school zones. As News 13's Courtney Evans tells us, Red Speed is now explaining more about how that system would work. Panama City officials may become the first in this area to use speeding cameras. A company called Red Speed wants to install their radar system in school zones. It's 10 miles per over the posted speed limit. So that's a wide grace period threshold in front of the school during the school day on day schools in session. So it does need to be a certified unit that is independently calibrated by a third party and then does a self check daily. And if it fails the self test, either the radar or laser, whichever direction the police department gives us, uh, it will shut down. Cameras would be activated 30 minutes before school starts and stay on until 30 minutes after school ends. It's proven uh, to work. Uh, we've had almost an identical law in Georgia for five years. The largest school system in the state, Gwinnett County, has experienced a 95% reduction in speeding and only a 7% repeat violator rate. Panama City Police would sign off on every violation before the driver receives a ticket in the mail. We understand the, you know, some of the concerns, some of the constitutionality and the, and the civil rights concerns here. So this is why uh, an actual human, a law enforcement officer with the appropriate credentials has to review this. Uh, and just make sure that it is correct uh, and then and then authorize that penalty. The city would monitor its own employees. Regardless of it's a, a law enforcement officer, a fire, uh, fire department official, or any of our utilities workers or, or parks and recreation folks, if they're in a city vehicle, we have very high standards for their, for their driving. Each citation would be $100. 60 goes back to the city. A small portion of that is profit for Red Speed. $12 would go to Bay District Schools, $3 to a criminal justice standards training fund, $5 to recruit crossing guards, and $20 to the state. It's much less expensive. There's no points for insurance. It's designed to be educational. In Panama City, Courtney Evans, News 13. Panhandle strong. Red Speed says the system would not cost the city any money, but would cost the company at least a million dollars. Only one citizen asked a question. No one voiced their opposition to the proposal. Commissioners will hold a second reading on the system at their next meeting, then vote on whether or not to approve it.